Salute to Hoops guys, welcome back, another day, another video, and today's going to be a little bit of a unique video, we're just doing some uh, hobby shop pickups that I found for cheap, uh, some of them are just cool cards uh, from like, you know, when I was a kid, the superstars back then, and some are maybe some cards that might have some value in the future, so before we get into it, like and subscribe guys, I, uh, the subscriber count is going up, so hopefully we can reach 100 followers maybe by the end of the month or so, that'd be pretty sweet, so... Uh, in the background, we have a bunch of loaders here. There's a funny story behind that. I, I went, I just went to Walmart grocery sh to grocery shop at like seven yesterday. Uh, of course, the card aisle was torn apart. I know that that Walmart specifically um, restocks like in the mornings for their cards and stuff. But the vultures left the the loaders the, and penny sleeves, so I definitely picked those up because uh, you can never have too many of those. So. That was definitely a small victory in my book. So getting into it here, guys. Like I said, I don't want the video to be too long, so we'll try to get to this through this quick. Uh, we got some Carmelo Anthony's, some 2003-2004 uh, uh, Upper Deck Rivals series. So um, I believe this this series was uh, specifically dedicated for uh, towards him and like LeBron James. So if you've ever seen those LeBron James cards, these are like literally kind of the exact same thing only featuring Carmelo Anthony so uh they were in pretty uh, good condition I mean I think I got these for all 25 cents 25 cents a pop and I figured uh I mean why not they're in, like I said great condition uh Carmelo Anthony kind of I don't want to say a breakout season with Portland this year but uh he definitely um kind of stood out uh, amongst all the other seasons that he's the previous seasons that he's had as of late he's been struggling so uh I just kind of got those just for the heck of it they could be worth something at some point in the future so why not uh next we got some Vince Carter these were all 25 cents as well uh some Fleer Ultra Vince Carter uh and I pretty much just got him because he's one of my favorite players growing up back in the day we got some Shaqs here uh, now these are in great condition also, so I figured for twenty five cents, Shaquille O'Neal's why not? Uh, I believe there's a a Kobe Bryant um, documentary coming out soon, so uh, I mean it could bump up Shaq stack a little bit. Everyone remembers Shaq. I mean he was on the Magic and and some other teams, but uh, arguably his most dominant years were on the the Lakers here. So that's why I picked these up, and I figured for twenty-five cents, you really can't go wrong with them. Uh, plus, they're pretty cool cards from at least being in the early two thousands. I believe they're all two thousand and three. So, prime time Shaq right there. Next, we have a third year Chris Paul. I got excited when I first picked this up and thought it was a second year, but it's a third year. Um, but still, uh, definitely a future Hall of Famer, and really great condition all around for being. Uh, from 2007, so 13 years old. Last one was a uh, just a Gary Trent Jr. NBA hoops. Uh, I know there's a lot of people kind of high on Gary Trent, so for 25 cents, a rookie card. What do you do? You you buy it. <laughs> you buy it. So let's move the cards here. This is a huge stack of Kobe Bryant cards that I got. Uh, I believe there's 37 of them. 37 of them in there. I cut a deal with the hobby shop. Uh, these are Kobe, uh, they featured, I guess, Kobe Bryant in this uh, anthology series, uh, 2012. So there's like different, various shots of him on here. Um, I figured, you know, Kobe Bryant's one of the best to play the game. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away way too soon. Um, but for I think the averaged out to 68 cents a piece for these all in Really great condition for the most part, anyway. So with a legend uh, like Kobe Bryant, I guess you really kind of you see these and you kind of have to buy them, right? So thirty-seven of them is what I believe it is. I'm not too certain, but uh, and they all came already top loaded and everything. So um, whoever had them took care of them clearly. So definitely a cool set there. All right, we're at uh, we're at four minutes. Okay, so hopefully we can get through this. Uh, at the top here, 
Uh, these are just a mixture of cards. Uh, these were also uh, in the dollar pile or box, wherever, whatever you want to call it. But a deal was worked out when you buy X amount. So uh, I believe these are also around $0.68 cents a piece. So we have uh, a Kevin Knox uh, Crusade Green, and this is numbered to 25. Uh, really great condition. Corners look good. And I pretty much picked this up because Kevin Knox is still a younger player. I mean, he's this is just his sophomore year that he didn't even play in. Or, sorry, this would be his, yeah, sophomore year, excuse me. So, he's still got some time to grow. He's on the Knicks, and the Knicks are just not good. So, <laughs> maybe if he leaves the Knicks at some point, uh, it becomes a decent player. This is worth some money. So, you can see at one point someone wanted 40 bucks for this thing. Uh, so someone else must have saw the exact same potential there. Uh, this is just a Terrence Ross select. Uh, this is numbered to 199. You know, we're not talking about like a superstar player here, but Terrence Ross is a pretty decent player. So I figured, you know, I guess for 68 cents, why would I not buy that? I guess, uh, just a Bruno Fernando rookie card. Uh, I don't know what series this is. I never, I don't recall ever having this a player of the day. So, just a Bruno Fernando, nothing too too insane there. I mean, if he becomes even a decent role player, we'll see where the card goes. Uh, little Lonnie Walker the fourth. I thought this was a pretty cool card. Also, you can see someone wanted ten bucks for this at one point. So this is number two uh, two forty nine, and this is part of the Majestic series, and not a bad looking card. I mean. We all know that these like thicker cards kind of they don't age very well, but I mean the corners and edges look pretty solid on it. So Lonnie Walker, the fourth, I've seen him play before. The kid's got some talent, so and it's a rookie card. Can never go wrong with that. Next we have a uh, Gary Trent Jr. Essential Series, and this is numbered to forty nine. And like I mentioned earlier, I know there's a lot of people kind of high on Gary Trent Jr. Uh, especially, I mean, he did, he did decent for Portland this year. I don't know about him in the playoffs. Um, there were some games where I'm like, where's Gary Trent? But uh, he's he's a super young player, so there's plenty of plenty of time for him to grow. So uh, even you know, it's essential series. It's not the best, uh, but not the best series out there. Not the highest uh, caliber, but numbered to 49. Why not? Next, we have two Troy Brown Juniors here. How am I doing on time? Okay. I think we're going to get through it. We got two, two Troy Brown Juniors here. One to select. Um, this isn't numbered or anything like that. I just thought it was, you know, a decent looking card. Uh, the select series is some is a series that I really like. Uh, I can't say I, don't, I know too much about Troy Brown Jr., but uh, we also have the optic rated Sparkle here. Uh, I know that he's a, still kind of a younger player. He's stuck on Washington, uh, which is not a good team. Right now, uh, they got some potential, but I really think they need to revamp their roster. Uh, maybe attempt to trade John Wall, even though his contract is horrendous. Uh, but I digress on that. So we got two Troy Brown Juniors here. These are both some kind of sexy-looking cards. I, I've always liked the Optic Sparkles. And this one looks decent. I mean, I don't know about like PSAing it or anything. But just to kind of keep... Keep around in case something happens with him. Next, we have a Devontae Graham. This is probably one of my favorite cards that I got out of the the for the day. Uh, it's a rookie card, Majestic, pretty much like the Lonnie Walker, number to two forty nine. Um, as you as you guys know, if you've seen my investment video, I'm really high on Devontae Graham, so I really can't wait to see how he plays next year when there's like a real season. Next, we got DeAndre Hunter here. Uh, this is also the Panini. Uh, I don't know what series this is, sorry. It looks similar to the player of the day. Just uh, $199, another DeAndre Hunter. For $0.68, cents, what do you do? Next, we have a, a Norris Cole Immaculate uh, RPA. And it's, I know I realize it's just Norris Cole, so it's not a superstar or anything. But, I mean, this is probably the only time I'll ever hold an Immaculate card RPA. Uh, it's also numbered to 25 and I got it for $0.68. Cents. Next, we have Jerome Robinson, another younger guy uh, in the league. I believe this is a, this was his sophomore year. He's on the Clips, so uh, we, I saw a little bit of him in the playoffs. Um, I don't know too much about the guy, 
Uh, he's 6'5", so he probably plays shooting guard. Uh, but once again, these optic rated Ricky Hollows uh, can't go wrong with those ever, especially if the player develops. Next, we have three old school cards. We have a Baron Davis. Actually, four. We can get through them all together. We got a Baron Davis Bowman, and I just got him because he was one of my favorite players back in the day. And that's an early version of him on the New Orleans Hornets, which is dope. Uh, two Allen Iversons, one on the 76ers, and once again, uh, just a, just a card that I got because I thought it would look cool. One of my favorite players from when I was a kid. And then uh, Iverson on the Nuggets, hot prospects. And I don't know why they put hot prospects because he was like super deep <laughs> into his career at that point. Uh, Stefan Marby, this kind of acetate looking card. It's, Real cool card, I believe that, uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, there's nothing really more about it. It's just super smooth. <laughs> I, I got distracted because I thought that there was a scratch on it, but it is on the loader itself. So definitely a cool looking card. Speaking of old school, we have two super old schools here. We got Connie Hawkins and Don Nelson, uh, and pretty much got these because they're from like 1969 and Connie Hawkins is Kind of legendary in the NBA as well as Don Nelson, you know, in his coaching career. So I figured, why not, right? Why not? Two Kevin Huerter rookie cards. Uh, one is uh, optic rated. Or sorry, not just uh, regular Don rest in that NBA hoops. I think that we're going to see some some of Kevin Huerter more once there's a real season. So when you can find his rookie cards, snag them up. Last one. We're doing great on time here. Uh, is a silver Zach Levine Spectra, uh, second year, or sorry, not second year. Uh, yeah, disregard that. Levine's been in the league for a minute, but uh, definitely a sweet looking card here. I've never gotten a chance to like break or rip the Spectra series, so anytime I can grab like a Chicago Bull that I like, and this card's in decent condition too, being a thicker one, as you can see, it's still. The edges are still in you know decent shape, so 68 cents. I figured I'm a Chicago Bulls fan, it's a silver, and Zach Levine is on a team where he could still be the man. So, boom! All right, guys, that concludes it. Uh, we still made decent time 12 minutes, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I, I originally made another one earlier, but it was ended up being like 22 minutes, and that's way too long, so. Hope you guys enjoyed the scaled down version of it uh, and kind of just what I what I bought over the past week or so at the hobby shops and uh, really appreciate you guys watching. We'll have some more videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. Until then, guys, I will see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and thank you so much for watching.